Greetings, YouTube. Happy Crystal Opening Commentary Weekend as I continue to get back on the horse. And what a cool name that we're commentating for today. Can you say Burrito Joe? Now look, I'm not the biggest coffee drinker, which is technically a cup of Joe, but I do love burritos. So I feel like if you love coffee or love Mexican food, you love both, this Crystal Opening is for you. Now, of course, I haven't watched it yet, so we're starting with the Michael Keaton, who maybe he's a fan of burritos, maybe he's a fan of coffee, maybe he's a fan of both. Uh, he's a fan of Vulture, so he likes to wing it. We know that. Uh, Vulture's fine. I don't mind that champ, but, you know, to be honest, it's just not someone that I'm ever going to get excited about landing on. Kind of like Green Goblin, I guess. All right, and then Guillotine 2099 or X-23 or Cap Infinity War. I mean, that, that reel was amazing. Okay, so the tech opening so far. Two crystals, two techs. Burrito Joe, you got a tortilla full of tech champs. Whatever the heck that means. Okay, so interesting data so far. Imagine you're opening this crystal opening. Those are your first two champs. X-23 is all over this reel. And I thought it was going to be Psylocke, and then Venom the Duck pops out. Shout out to Tristan and McSizzle, two uh, of my mods who have been begging for me to get my first Venom the Duck for years now. And, of course, I haven't. So my best VTD is still a four-star. And when you get VTD after three hours, you should go to the emergency room. It's a lifelong struggle. And now we get Nightcrawler, kind of like Vulture, you know. Not a champion that I hate to open. I still hate fighting Nightcrawler. And there is that really, really annoying Nightcrawler that maybe some of you have fought in the epic side quest this month. Who just can absolutely wreck me. Now Sentinel is a B plus, A minus champ. He is one of those who's so close to being beyond God tier, but... But just falls a little short, but can be a top tier option for variant content. And he, uh, I would not put him where I'd put Ghost or Warlock, for example, but very close to that batch of champs in the tech class. And went from one golden haired man to another, from long shot to century. That's kind of funny. I mean, you, you, uh, you can see the family resemblance, even though uh, it looks like it's just going from Shrek to somebody from. 1963 all right final five star for burrito joe he got sentinel he got guillotine 2099 and he wreaked havoc look at that reel you had havoc black widow clairvoyant or captain marvel movie and he awakened his havoc really interesting batch of of crystals seven crystals solid data you got vtd and guillotine 2099 for the first time that's awesome okay now He's got two Featureds. I still... I just don't like this Featured Crystal at all. If you don't have the top two champs in it, I get it. Especially if you don't have Domino. What's up, Squirrel Girl? And speaking of the devil, and that is the reason why you go for this. If you don't have Domino, that's, that's a champion that once you have Domino, you're like, oh, this is why everybody loves her. Especially if you pair her with Red Hulk. And you get some insane heavy attack incinerate damage. And Masakre. Okay, those are two of the best featured champs in general. And they have incredible synergy together. So now you just need Red Hulk. Burrito Joe, I don't know if you have Red Hulk. But that's for a level 57 account, you have... Your, your problem is now going to be rank up materials. Okay, so... I can't remember if this is his first six star or not. Let's just assume for the sake of argument to make the stakes of this crystal opening interesting that it is. Maybe he'll be kind and show us his roster after this. All right. Come on. There are so many average to trash six star champions in this crystal that I really just hope there is some semblance of luck. Here we go. And, well, here's the deal, bud. This guy was the MVP for synergy purposes of my Abyss completion run. I really believe I saved at least a thousand units, no exaggeration, worth of revives and potions by having Heimdall, especially with Aegon, uh, at the end of those fights where the Furies were crazy, but I didn't die. However, not exactly... Somebody that I'm going to be, you know, super excited to open. Well, 
there you have it, YouTube. It is his first six star. And so he is all seeing. But, bro, you got so many great champs now to rank up. This is where the economy of the game shifts. And now you've just got to figure out how to awaken them, how to get rank up materials. That's going to be the struggle. And that's, that's almost what the game is hoping would happen in a way so that July 4th could happen and your temptation to snatch up all those expensive rank up resources is going to be too, uh, too high for you to imagine. Well, there you have it, YouTube. What a great amount of data. Thanks again to Burrito Joe. Let's wrap this up like a tortilla wraps up some taco meat. Internet phrases.